Hey guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about Masters in the NFL Draft promo, how to get more of these Masters, um, if you're going for a Master later in the promo, what should you do in terms of your badges to make sure you're guaranteeing you get the player that you want. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So it's not going to be too, you know, too long of a video, too difficult of a video, because it's going to be kind of obvious that you need to go for what you need, right? So we're just going to go with examples in this video. Let's go with our, an example we've been talking about a lot with Stefan Gilmore in past videos. So obviously to get a 300 overall, you're going to need certain badges, right? You're going to need 15 of each badge to get a 300 overall. So it's going to be this whole promo is really about going about the badges, uh, making sure you know which ones you need. Like unlike past promos where we've had with the, just the tokens, this one has the compensatory tokens, but it also has the four different types of badges. So making sure you have the right badges, badges is very, very important. So doing that, um, make sure if you're going for stuff on Gilmore, get more top 10 badges. The same with all the other ones. If you're going for the center, get more of the five through seven badges. And you can do that by playing the certain events. Um, it's gonna give you a random badge on every single win. But as you guys see on first win, it's gonna guarantee you a certain badge. So of course, we're gonna go, get, go ahead and play these. Um, we'll see if we can actually pull anything out of these. So. We pulled two five through sevens right there, so that's not too bad. You see here playing the three through four. Can we double up on three through four right here? Let's see. Uh, we will get two three through two of the three through four collectibles, so that's good right there. The one through two event, let's see what we can actually pull in this one. We get two of the one through two. So as you guys see, most of the time you are gonna get the ones that are for that event. But as you guys see in the rewards, it's gonna be a random badge. So when you're going through these, you're not guaranteed to get the badge of the event you're playing, but you're very likely to. So make sure you always play the event of the badge you're going for. Now, when it comes to getting more badges, how do you use your compensatory coins, right? These right here are very, very important. You're gonna get these as you play events as well. So there's two sets for these. You can choose eight of these coins for a random, or you can do 15 of them for a select badge. Now, you're gonna need a lot of badges to build these masters, right? You're gonna need like 300 badges for some of them, 200 for some of them so it's not really going to matter if you select one now because you're going to need a lot of them right so i would go with the random one because you have so many badges that you need that the select one will just be a disadvantage you're wasting those coins that you could be using on a random one so i'm going to do that right here so we're going to choose to use some coins here on a compensatory or some of our coins here on a random badge so you guys see we get the three through four so in the end that's not really going to hurt us because we already need a lot of badges so that's pretty much the obvious right there. Now to the very, the main point of the video I wanna talk about is these masters down here. So April 24th, May 2nd, you were, we're gonna see brand new masters in the game. And of course, we don't know which masters these, these are. We don't know which badges they're gonna take the most of. Will they take more of the, the one through twos? Will they take more three through fours, five through sevens? Like say you want a wide receiver. If a wide receiver is coming on April 24th, we don't know which badges he is going to use. So what you guys kind of want to do, you don't want to try to guess, right? You don't want to guess, oh, he might take more one through twos. So let me spam the one through two event and get a bunch of one through twos. Because then what happens is if he takes like more of the five through sevens, well, then you're stuck, right? You're going to lose a lot of badges doing the two, the two to one trade, right? You're going to be losing badges in the process. You're going to be stuck with a badge that you don't really need a lot of. So the best approach to this, if you're trying to save up your badges for a master that you don't, that's not revealed yet, right? I would say the best thing is to balance out your badges. Now, balancing out your badges is very important because say you need a lot of one badge, now you're not like completely unbalanced as to where you have way too many of one badge. Now, if you're kind of balanced, right, you can kind of choose which master you want without having to sacrifice a ton of badges. And in that, in that case, right, you might be able to use all your badges for the trades, right? So. The 300 overall already takes 15 of each anyways. So honestly, if you're going for any master, you might as well just get 15 of each and keep balancing it out because in doing so, you're going to have enough to get 300 overalls by balancing it out and also be able to do this two for one trade if you need to a lot easier because you're not way too reliant on one single badge. So, you know, that's kind of my tip for this video talking about the masters. Um, most of it's kind of obvious. We talk about this with kind of every promo where when you're going for a master, using your stamina the most wise way possible is important because you only get a certain amount of stamina every single day. So what I'm going for the pick two through seven, 
So I'm going to put in all these badges to kind of give you guys an example. Looking at what I have right here, I have the least of the top 10 badge, right? So I'm going to go over here and play the top 10 event. I'm going to auto this a couple times. I still haven't done the first win, so we'll do this right here. And I'm going to keep autoing this event right here because I have the least amount of these badges, right? So it's all about playing the right event, playing the correct event that you guys need um, for a certain thing. So make sure you're playing the correct events. We go through this with every promo, like I said. And being very, very smart with your stamina is important because if you waste stamina, right, you choose the wrong badges, you might end up getting less masters in the promo. So if you have any other questions about masters, um, if anything was unclear in this video, I'll make sure to answer that in the comments. So make sure to comment any questions you have. But yeah, that's about it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.